while abdominal wall closure with the usual single strand polydiaxon suture has been standardized there remain some basic challenges the first of which is the reliance on self locking knots which can be sites of weakness albeit to a lesser degree than the standard surgeon's knots one frequently needs an assistant to follow the suture along maintaining the right amount of traction both these can add inconsistency in facial closure barb sutures present an opportunity to address these concerns i will be demonstrating closure with a stratofix symmetric device that is made of polydiaxon and is coated with triclosan it is a delayed absorbable material which conforms with the recommendations of the european hernia society the barbs on the suture are unidirectional and are created using a special process that does not involve making cuts in the suture which may hamper its strength the device is designed specifically for tough structures like the fascia i begin closure by taking the first bite in intact tissue directly above the apex in a direction away from the incision pull the suture through the tissues to gently seat the fixation tab the tab should be above the level of the fascia now take a pass in the intact tissue perpendicular to the initial pass to lock the stitch you can take multiple passes here to lock the tab in position apply gentle traction on the tissue to take up any slack once you are upon the incision closure proceeds in the usual short stitch technique in a continuous non locking fashion take bites that are 5 mm away from the edge of the incision and move down the incision in 5 mm increments notably one doesn't need an assistant to follow the suture as once pull the tissues remain approximated retain at least 3 inches or 8 cm of the device when you are at the end of the incision take at least one bite on intact fascia beyond the end and then you must reverse the direction to secure and end the closure take at least two passes in the opposite direction across the incision pull on the free end of the device and cut the suture flush with tissues closure is now complete